Okay. Bob B O B Carnahan C A R N A H A N. All right. And now uh, this is that. You just look at me. Okay. I'm trying to ignore the camera as much as possible. Okay. Um, and well, first of all, how long have you been in uh, education? Uh, since 1967, right here in Alaska. Wow. That's impressive. Um, and tell me how you wound up in Kivalina. Uh, Kivalina uh, was. Um, the superintendent or the CEO for the district is a friend of ours and so when I uh, uh, read some articles in the newspaper I called him up and I said Charles I says can you handle have a little help need a little help and he said sure I said well count count my wife and I uh, that anything we can do and so that's how we ended up Kevalina so we're a uh, substitute teacher uh, and, and a new teacher has been hired. We're retired teachers, mm -hmm. and all of our careers been in here in Alaska. And uh, how's it been going so far since you got there? Real good. It's um, the children have really responded uh, to to just education because uh, tried to make it fun with hands-on experiences. So we have hands-on reading, we have our regular curriculum, and then we have our hands-on uh, reading, math, science, and that's how we got into this rocket project the, the last 10 days. So and tell me what's, uh, how the rocket project worked and how that was a motivation. Right. Uh, when we opened back up the school, which was just about 10 days ago, just a few days ago, uh, we found out that uh, one of the problems was was the children about their identification with education and we found out they also needed something that was extrinsic and intrinsic in other words it's going to be a reward they something they can actually make and then something they could feel good about and so we went ahead and read build a vocabulary read about rockets read about astronauts uh, then we started building the rocket and building on that and today of course was culminated uh, the results and it was the launch and I think uh, everybody had a real good time I know we learned a lot from it uh, and how do you think it went the launching? well the launching was was very good even though we had the, the sub weather uh, as far as under the freezing point uh, the only problem we had was don't use masking tape when it's really really cold duct tape would help out a lot better but Overall, uh, all the rockets lifted except for two, and those two will be having uh, those. Um, uh, we'll try those uh, next week when we come back into school. So every, it'll be a hundred percent success when we're finished. That's good. And uh, talk a little bit about, about how you've been using the launch. I mean, I asked you this a little bit earlier, but and you know how the launch, you know, wound up being a reward. Right. That works with. My wife and I have always felt like that, that education should be a, a reward. Uh, a lot of us have a culture where reading and is a reward in itself, and we find ourselves reading interesting books. There's some cultures, they're a doing culture, and they find out they really have satisfaction by doing things, using their hands. What we've tried to do is put the two cultures together. Uh, where reading and using the hands uh, both uh, give a person a personal uh, award uh, or achievement 
and then they can go, a person can go ahead and do it in, individually as well as being part of a group. You know, some of our education tends to set apart someone as a high achiever or a low achiever, but society has us all achieving at levels uh, of acceptance, and that's what we think the school should uh, have is a level of acceptance for, for each, each different person, whatever level they're working at. But there's basic skills that we have to have in order to function. And our desire here at Kevalina is to equip the students so they can make the choice. If they want to go into the city uh, to some type of uh, profession, they're, they're, they have the skills. If they want to stay here, that's fine too. They have the skills here too. So bringing uh, the, the Kevalina uh, interests, I guess, building on those and building the skills that we need for society, bringing those two together, I think is going to uh, make each person a better person, you know, and make our world a better person or a better place to live. Well put, well put. Um, uh, what is your sense of some of the things that <coughs> were going wrong in school and then some of the things that you think need to happen in the future? Well, the only thing I know that was going wrong in the school sort is what I read in the media, but I didn't believe it all because what we're dealing with, with, with people that, that they, all of us love something, all of us are kind to something. In other words, we have these, these traits and uh, we felt that maybe the appreciation and respect mutual back and forth and if, if you want respect, you build it first and offer it to the person that you would like to have respect uh, from. And uh, so that's when we first walked into the classroom and when the new teachers came in, as well as the teachers that are still here. Uh, there, there was that building process and it's, it's building on the truth. In other words, this is what we're here to do and let's build on it rather than building on the past or uh, even building on the future is too far when you've gone through a crisis. So I think we've had a lot of heal educational healing uh, because, again, of the successes, and our students are showing it. Very good. Is there anything else that you would think folks should know about the school here? Well, I, I just think that, that everybody should know that Kevalina is a great place to live, and uh, there is, is so much talent here. Uh, both on staff and throughout the, the city here because we have leaders um, anywhere from the leadership in, in, uh, in, in the city government right on to the, our dancers, our whalers, and, and our student leadership. And that's what we hope as a school is to focus on the leadership quality and then go ahead and build that up because we think each uh, individual, each child, each student uh, should be a leader because they're going to have to make their own decisions and hopefully with good leadership qualities they'll make good decisions and their life will be a, a better quality than if they'd made some poor decisions. Very good. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. I did get some some oh, shots of the other classroom. Yeah. Okay.
They also have to see on the sun. What was that? They also have to see on the sun. Yeah, it helps with it's, yeah, it's sunny. Because then we Tell me what you're working on there. Caribou just taking the skin off. This one? No, I somebody just bring it and we just gotta cut it up and take the skin off, I guess. What do you think they're gonna use it for? Um caribou soup or food, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you learn how to tell me about how you learned how to how to do this? My oppa? My grandpa. Yeah. Oh.
issue, guys. Well, but you consider uh, any kind. Hey guys, coming from Bell in ten minutes. Bell. Huh? Okay. Hey, uh, could you ask him to repeat that so I can get it on the camera? <laughs> Say hi, I'm coming from Barrow. <laughs> yeah, this is Joe Swan. Can you repeat that? So what do you what do you think about what you just heard on the radio there? Hey, Cameron.